Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play. Hearts of Iron 4. Packs of the set comes on the army. Guess what? The Dixies are gone. The Americans and the British are at war. It's a happy day. It's a happy, happy, happy day. And also, we have a lot of factories. I don't know where to put them. I guess give me some trucks. Trucks are cool. There we go. Excellent. Uh, aside from that, we have to oh, yeah, we have towed rocket artillery. Can I afford to throw that in here? Rocket Artillery 12. Yes, we can. Boom. Done. Save that up. So, now that the Americans and the British are at war, they're having their own little uh, civil war, we are in a very, very happy situation. Well, kind of. I, again, I don't know if I can actually beat the, um, the American Coalition, but they're going to be fighting basically two front wars. They're going to be fighting the British over in this part of the world. Apparently, Quebec has not agreed to the alliance, but that, that's, that's okay. It also means, hey, I don't need to have troops near Seattle. Because this declares war on... It declares war in the Northwest, so we actually do declare war on the British still, regardless. Okay. That does make my life a little bit more challenging. Gang of Misfits, I don't want you. Give me, um... I don't know, like 10 divisions seems okay. How much longer does this cost? We got 27 days. How expensive are you? You are... Are we at our cap right now? Yes. Can I core any of these lands? Yeah, but they're all, they're all 30 points each. Okay. 30, 30, 30. Core... Let's core these ones for now. These units will be de ready to deploy somewhat soon, I hope. But I think what we have to do is just... We need to fight ASAP. I don't think we can really afford to wait at all. Like, we just have to attack within... Active for 30 days. So I mean, I mean, I still have to take you one more time. More manpower than 2,000, which I definitely do not actually have. How long does that delay it by? 60 days. 5% stability, 2,000 manpower. Well, if need be, I could just cancel one of you. And I'm actually, I am going to take it. Just because it buys me those days. I'd rather spend the 5 uh, stability than the uh, political power right now. And then we can attack you, which would be nice. But I also need these divisions to deploy over here. But theoretic, I'm presuming that the Norwest territories... Who wants this? Oh, Russia does. Okay. I mean, we need to push in here as quickly as possible. Sex, so you give me 100 political power. This is going to give me a lot of... Um... You're going to give me a lot of manpower in just a moment because you're going to be core territory. So it means we're not... Yeah, there we go. We get some more manpower here. Excellent. 277,000. we love to see it. So. <laughs> I think we just need to attack. We'll deploy these units. I know they're going to be basically hot garbage. I don't think I can... I don't think I can afford to care that much. Yeah, we're going to put you here. We're going to basically push up in this direction, and that's kind of going to be the best we've got. Yeah, I, I, I think we just pulled the trigger. We will start the Second American Revolution. We're going to core another uh, territory here. Red Army, you need to be able to push your way down to Arcadia. Blue Army. I, mean, I, guess, I guess you're all just marching in this general direction, huh? How many troops do the Americans have? We have literally no clue. How do we how do we not know? Like I don't want to sound you know I, I just don't I just don't I just don't get we don't know this number. How do we not have this information on hand? Who's in charge of our military uh information here? Like how how do you not know? Okay, so we can't take this. I'm assuming that we can maybe only do this after we've won the war. Can't do anything here. 
you don't actually do anything. I guess we just go resistance targets minus 10%. Seems okay. Give me more support equipment. Give me more rocket artillery. Give me more rations. Give me more tanks. Give me more artillery pieces. Okay, what do we want to build? We want to build ourselves. Give me a 10 stack with 5 tanks. That's 15... 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We're going to build one of these armies each. Manpower is still kind of bad. We're going to get some more cores here in a moment, though. And you're going to be 100 political power, which allows me to core everything we actually can uh, have. So because manpower, I will say, is quite low, we cannot take huge, huge risk. By the way, can I actually see military situation? We're a Great War military. You're semi-modern. Okay, so they're a little bit better than ours, but, but not by too much. The Mexican army is actually surprisingly strong. That's that's the army I'm kind of like, I'm like, whoa, they're actually doing pretty well for themselves. Way better than you would otherwise expect. Okay, France could have war on the Bosque Republic. Don't, don't give a shit. Like, it doesn't matter anything to me at all. Okay, let's core you. Well, then core... Core of Nevada. What, what do you cost to upgrade? 150. We're going to get 100 off of this uh, declaration. Which would be nice. I'm going to set you to be... Ah, nah, we'll, keep, we'll keep you on regular battle plan. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you at like a normal level. We'll core you up. One day... Declare war on Northwest Territories, on Quebec, and on the United Commonwealth. Which means we're kind of at war with a lot of people, which does, again, kind of, like, it's weird we're somewhat allied now with the French. But you know what? That's kind of just how things go. How do you have no supplies here? We're not at war with Arcadia right away, which I know is a little surprising. The Reclamation War. Second Continental Army has revealed itself to the world, and more importantly, the United Commonwealth. Butler announced in a short speech soon after the SCA was to embark on a great campaign that would see the ultimate destruction of capitalism for the North American continent. An official declaration war has been uh, quickly following Butler's speech. Stop the road collaboration war by Butler and his followers. Okay. We're going to send one of these little demons down towards New Orleans. See if we can just capitulate Arcadia as quickly as humanly possible. Okay. Move our units in. Move our units in. India is now in the war as well. But I don't think I care about that too much. I don't know what these I don't know what these sound effects are, but that, that's okay. I don't need to know. Move you in this direction, move you down here. Let's send you down towards this front as well. Where do we have supply lines? You have a supply line here, you have a supply hub here. Well, let's go uh, down towards Freetown as well. Capture what we can. You have 95%. Can I send a... Um... Yeah, let's see if we can send like a tank maybe down in this direction. If we can get our way down towards like West Florida. That mean that sounds beneficial to me. And then of course when this army is ready to deploy. We're going to deploy them uh, directly on the front line where we can. Okay, our air forces are now drastically outnumbered. Also, I noticed that we don't actually have an air base around here at all. Okay, build up our air bases, please, and thank you. I'm actually going to set you to be careful battle plan for now, because I don't want you to take, like, a lot of damage doing essentially nothing, if I can avoid it. Okay, we're going to push back a little bit here. France declared, uh, has killed the Bosque Republic. That's not a surprise. I think that basically anybody. Okay, we delete this line again. What can I get you to do? Camouflage Expert actually would be incredible here. Because I know the AI has a stronger uh, air presence than we do. Okay, Calhoun is a supply hub. I'm happy with that. Me again, me and Brynn are at war. 
Now, why is Quebec not at war with you? I, I guess they like each other, which is a little annoying. Again, I don't want to take, like, heavy casualties. I really can't afford heavy casualties. You can push away to Seattle. I mean, come on, they are at 73% uh, capitulation right now. So it's entirely possible that we can maybe actually get something here to work out in our favor. I mean, White Army is doing a completely fine job. I'm happy with where they're at. Now, I know for a lot of our other positions... Okay, we have Quebec up here in the north as well. Do not forget about Quebec. Good 98, 75. Red Army's taking a lot of beatings right now. Which, of course, I'm not a big fan of. I, I don't think I need to explain that one too much. So I'm wondering if because they're focusing too much on, on us, maybe the British will be able to walk their way. Because they've taken Philadelphia, man. Their capital is... What is your capital, actually? Miami? I mean, it's a bit of a weird choice, but I mean, you do you, man. Yeah, wanting to redeploy. Yeah, take Seattle immediately, please. Now, I don't think it's going to kill the United... Uh, not the United Kingdom. The uh, Northwest Territories. But it gives us a good starting point. Okay, deploy all of you. Congratulations to our brand new army. Where do I want to send you? Honestly, I want to send you down to Arcadia. Uh, and we're going to... What? Well, what? I guess we can make you the green army. We don't have a green army yet. Why will you not make a front line? You cannot draw a front line here. There we go. Yeah, I just want you in the south, basically. The green army, you can get your way down there ASAP. If you can kill Arcadia and then push your way through the southern uh, United States... I think that is going to be worthwhile for us. You know, we will get a couple more militias here. And they're basically just going to join up with White Army when we... Uh, just join up with White Army in the future. So Northwest is currently 59% dead. I mean, we'll take what we can over here. Green Army need to advance. We can push in where we can. We see a lot of these units are pretty low on supplies. So some basic counterattacks I think could work out in our favor. But I don't want to commit too, too much. Especially since we basically have no air superiority whatsoever. It does make things more complicated than I would like them to be. What if I have you just go straight over to Vancouver Island, please? Thank you very much. I think you're an Indian division. Don't care about that too much, honestly. Okay, and Green Army. Once Green Army arrives, I want them pushing their way straight down to New Orleans. That is, I would say, my number one priority right now. Why is it my number one priority, you might be asking? That's a, that's a good question. I don't really have a great answer for you. It, it just kind of feels right, you know what I mean? Okay, moving this direction. You guys are doing all right. I want to tell you, how much is Gastown worth? It is worth 10 victory points. Okay, congratulations, new units. You're going to deploy straight into White Army. Support our boys in uh, BC. Then I'm going to shrink your line down. Get out of our green controlled spaces. We are taking heavy casualties. How many men have we lost so far? Two, basically as many as we've already lost in the Dixie War. Which, which is incredible news for us. 2,000 of you. 233,000. So we're, we're, I was going to say we're about e even. Which is kind of true... But also kind of not true at the same time. 
Okay, you'll get killed off in but a moment. The Russian Empire has defeated... What do you mean the Russian Empire defeated them? Excuse me? What do you mean Russia defeated... I did... So do you still exist? You do. So, I mean, it's just, I guess, Quebec's now in this faction, huh? Okay, well, I mean, this does put us in a very, very awkward situation. So, let's crush one of these troops here. I, 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 I'm guessing it's because Russia is at war with them as well. It doesn't actually piece them, even though I think it would make sense for them to piece out. You know, they just don't actually do that. Okay, White Army, we're going to have you basically advance in this direction towards Quebec. I think that seems fine. In Arcadia, we're going to deploy some chemical weapons. Beautiful. As long as, long as, long as, long as you're not the one getting uh, gassed. I'm going to take you. We're then going to take research speed goes up. Like, and remember, we're not at war with Russia. I mean, Russia is at war with the British. So Br Britain will probably take out all this territory. Oh, Japan? J thank you, Japan. Me, me and you can definitely be friends. We're both revolutionary governments. Uh, augments. I think Cowboy's already maxed out. Can't research you. You know what? Let, let's get our uh, weird mutant dogs a little bit better. I think that could definitely be beneficial. Also, what we want to do is we want to surround Gastown. But the Northwest Territories currently is at 47%. Which I think is fairly okay for us. Okay, we need you guys to start moving your way towards Quebec. Start killing them off, please, and thank you. I mean, we're going to start running into British troops as well. How powerful are the British? I don't... I don't know. I'm hoping not very powerful. You know, that's obviously the best situation for us, personally. Okay, Japan, thank you for your support. I think maybe move in this direction. I'm guessing Quebec is probably pushing against the Russians as well, giving them a little bit more territory. Yeah. Don't worry about that one little Russian uh, territory there. It shouldn't be an issue. Theoretically. Thank you, France, for your material support. I do greatly appreciate it. Yeah, you guys got to start moving your way into Quebec now. Because Quebec somehow has turned into, like, the number one adversary. Not what I was expecting. Italy wants the convoys. I've seen no reason to say no to you. We have no... Oh, we have no convoys. I mean, that doesn't seem very good at all. Okay, give me some more trains, please. I mean, you, you're on max motorization, which I'm happy to see. And yeah, Green Army, I think we're going to shrink you down as so. Bring you down stealth a little bit. Okay, we're now on the border with Quebec. Actually, no, before we do that, I need to, yeah, advance our military, please. Convince the masses a little bit more. And, you know, let's, let's just do some searching. There we go. Find some resources wherever we can. Because we're not, like, a super, super rich country, right? I don't know if we can just afford to uh, go prospecting all willy-nilly. Hey, Japan, how are you? How many troops do they have in this province? Four? I mean, it's a decent amount. Because you're currently 47%. You have three and... So you're worth four. I, mean, I think they have, like, one city here. Worth one. 
So maybe just taking gas tan will be enough for the kill. It's a little, it's a little hard to say. 93, 94. Again, I want you to keep pushing away down south. Because I'm assuming the Americans, the United Commonwealth, yeah, they, they don't have an army anymore. One to three divisions is nothing I need to worry about. Hello, Gastown. Okay, you know, actually, I'm going to send you around like this. I think they, they keep sending troops to Gastown. And it, it, it's kind of like, why are you doing this? Are you still... Like, you're not actually okay. Don't be on very, very aggressive. I, I appreciate the, um, the... The thought. But I don't know if we can really actually afford it right now. You know, like, no, no offense. Also, again, I'm surprised that the British and the French are not at war. Or the British and the Quebecois, I should say. You think it would make perfect sense for them to be at each other's throats? Okay, ooh, anti-tank. Let's go anti-tank two immediately afterwards. Move you down south. Cadoville's worth two. You're worth three, and then you are worth ten. We're getting we're getting good work here done. Again, once Arcadia is dealt with, Green Army can move into a uh, a, bre a better uh, offensive position as well. Because right now we're basically just fighting the Quebecois army, which honestly is massive. I don't know why it's so goddamn big, but it is. Like it's unreasonably large. Send one of you down like this. Move you in this direction. Thank you. Again, it's almost we're kind of advancing towards Quebec. And again, we're, we're, we're going to be fighting British troops soon as well. Hey, okay, Arcadia has fallen. Let's fucking go. Just kill these divisions off. Kill these guys off as well. Allows our units to go towards the actual front lines. And then green army after this, you're basically just going to push in this direction. Okay, British African authorities collapsed. I mean, like, like France is doing, like, France is going to win. Like, there's no way in hell that they lose. Is, are we missing anything? Rex is missing 30,000 guns. More guns here. Put more guns here. More guns here. And we actually need resources. We need some steel. We'll get that from the French. We'll, we need some rubber. We'll get that from whoever the hell you are. I think you're in Indonesia somewhere. Okay, we did take gas down. Which does get you down to 28%. And you connect way up north, huh? Are you still on very aggressive? No, but it's still a bit of an issue. But I will say, with the fall of Arcadia, uh, the collapse of Gastown. Let's take. I want to see. Okay. But with all that said and done, I think this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not Joey Cody, thumbs down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.